Hey, this is Joel, CEO and Master Electrician at Jefferson Electric. I want to call your attention to GFCI protection and some of the codes surrounding that. GFCI protection is required in kitchens, baths, unfinished basements, garages, and the exterior, as well as laundry rooms, and any place that might experience water as a part of the routine and the intent of that space. So GFCI protection should be utilized once in a circuit. GFCI protection comes in the form of a breaker or an outlet, a receptacle outlet, like we've installed earlier in previous videos. And a GFCI can be utilized to protect only itself, only that particular outlet, or can be wired in a separate configuration, which we've gone over and we'll go over again because everybody gets hung up on that in a separate configuration to protect everything that comes downstream from that receptacle. So upstream is the panel, hit the GFCI receptacle, and depending on the wiring configuration will protect only itself. Sometimes that's intended and purposeful or everything downstream of that. But if you layer downstream GFCI protection, then you complicate the troubleshooting method under fault conditions. If there's a receptacle that's without power, it could be protected by a GFCI. And if it's protected by two, that becomes more problematic to resolve in that particular scenario. The time I would use multiple GFCIs on a circuit is something like this. Let's say I'm wiring a house. I hit a front exterior receptacle. I need that by code because it's exterior to be GFCI protected. But then that circuit comes into the living room and is combined with the living room receptacles. I don't want GFCI protection on the living room receptacles. So that first outlet outside, I'm going to wire it in a line to line configuration. We'll go over what that looks like in a, in a, in a subsequent video, but a line to line configuration so that it's only protecting itself and nothing downstream. That's a suitable situation in which to use a, a GFCI. And then maybe that circuit extends and goes to a rear exterior outlet on the house. Now that's exterior and that requires GFCI protection. And I would wire that in the line to line configuration. So now I've got one circuit, two GFCIs, neither of which is protecting anything downstream and my interior receptacles are not going to be plagued with nuisance trips from GFCI protection where it's not required by code. All right, so GFCI protection is not required everywhere. And I want to recap the places where it is not required. Um, living spaces such as living rooms, family rooms, dens, bedrooms, hallways, and places that are not likely to see water are not required to have GFCI protection. In a later episode, when we're digging deep into an electrical panel, we're gonna cover AFCI protection and the spaces required by code and what it is and how it protects your home and business. Talk to you soon.